If you're like me, you've been using computers for a while, and everybody knows every now and then you gotta buy a new computer. And so, again, if you're like me, you have all these old computers sitting around. You have like the beginnings of a computer museum in your basement. And if you're like me, you haven't gotten rid of them, partly because you think one day you're gonna use them again and partly because you don't know how to get rid of them. I'm in this situation, and I figured either I'm gonna have to start charging admission for my museum, or start getting rid of a few things. I wanted to find a, the right way to get rid of a computer instead of just throwing it away, you know, uh, putting it in a landfill somewhere. So I did some searching online and found some good resources addressing this. The first solution to this problem is to not get rid of it all. If your computer's only like two or three years old, um, you might be able to do some really simple upgrades to keep the computer. I have a laptop from like four and a half years ago. It's a little old, but I upgraded the RAM. I just bought a new battery on eBay, and it does pretty much everything I needed to, so I'm gonna hang on to it for now. The second thing you can do is consider donating your computer to a charity or church someone um, if it's only two or three years old. Uh, the only thing though is, if it's an old computer, really old computer, you don't wanna donate it because they probably can't use it, and it might just end up in a landfill again. The third option is to recycle your computer. And I've always known that there were facilities somewhere where you could recycle your computer. I never really knew where. Um, I did some searching online, and it looked like a lot of these places are in bigger cities. Finally, I found a place that looked promising. That's right, Best Buy. I gave him a call, just to be sure that the local Best Buy actually did this. Best Buy Geek Squad, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Um, do you guys recycle like electronics and computers and stuff? Yes, we do. Where do we take those? Um, you can bring them right in after customer service. Okay, are there like uh, restrictions and limitations to that? Um, yeah, you can't bring any TV over 37 inches. Okay. And um, that's about it. If you're bringing in a hard drive, I'm um, sorry, a computer, you'd want to remove the hard drive first. Okay, all right. <clears throat> that's good to know. Well, thanks. Yep. Bye. Bye. First, I backed up the files to floppy disk. Then I took the case off. All right, I've got to find the hard drive on this thing because I've got to remove it because that's what Best Buy said. Um, I've located it right here. It should be pretty easy to take out. Big old ribbon cable. Got some screws on the side here. The hard drive. Mount it in there. Oh, I've got a power cable here. Still trying to get the hard drive out. This is kind of tricky. That's really annoying. Maybe this is why people don't recycle computers. All right, I finally made some progress. Most computers shouldn't be quite this complicated. There we go. This whole thing out has the hard drive and the floppy disk on here, so I just need to take the hard drive off. It's looking to work. So there's the hard drive, and it's out. I'm here at Best Buy at the uh, customer service area. This, this is where they're recycling a computer friendly associate, Ashley. And I'm gonna go get the monitor. All right, I'll be right back. All right. Cool, thank you so much. Yeah. And it was that easy.